the strangest of things has just happened. Um, where where Baca was sitting in the back of the, the, the carriage, all of a sudden his body was pulled through the tarp, and yet there's no hole, there's no hole in the tarp, and he's gone, causing the the, the three soldiers in the carriage to basically freak out, not to mention the, the other the rest of you, basically. Harry screaming at the top of his lungs, ah, ah, ah. So Oh Harry, shut up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause on on the group of you and just speak Wait. to Baka for just a minute to let him okay. know what's Chris, going on. Do I get? Do I have to make any checks against this shit? No, no. It just it, you're told, you were taken completely by surprise. Um, it was just basically you were just the uh, the victim of um of tragedy. It's, I'm I'm so sorry, Baka, but I, I now I need to let you, you know really what your want fate. To kill off my I have to let you know what your fate is now. So, you find yourself suddenly stumbling in the sand of the of the Forian desert um the sun is uh low in the sky and even though it's a desert and it's generally extremely hot you you it's it's the breeze is hitting you so it's actually a comforting breeze maybe in the, at night in the desert it might actually get cold but the bottom line is it's not dark night dark yet and the person who was grabbing you by the hair that pulled you through the dimension door that had been placed right behind you in the carriage. Um, I'll give a quick description of what she looks like. So she has long, dark hair. Uh, she has nice. a dark green skin. And with the exception of two nice. tusks, she's extremely beautiful with lavender eyes. Um, lavender eyes. Lavender eyes, dark green uh, skin, long, what dark race hair. Is she? Um, I would think Can't tell. I, I know I think it would be easy to tell. I think that she's either half orc or full blooded orc. But for an orc, she's extremely beautiful. Um, she has hey, long, sexy legs, high heels, mini skirt. I, exactly. Uh, she, how much taller is it, than uh, is she than me? She's <laughs> you, she's maybe about five foot five, which means that she almost doubles you in height. You're basically up to her waist. All right, so I don't know how we're gonna make this work, but we're we're gonna make it work. So. <laughs> <laughs> she has um, tattoos that ra- that wind themselves around both of her very sexy legs. Uh, it that basically look like um, Thaden swooping in. Well, Thaden is not there, unfortunately. I apologize. Ah, oh, shit. It's, this is just Baka. Just Baka was pulled out of the the, the carriage. Um, they look like vines, and yet also musical notes wrapped around both of her very sexy legs. You know her <laughs> as the backup singer to the Orcish Revenge, Issa. And she she kneels down and smiles at you and does yeah, that's Issa? Issa, Lorenzo's oh, uh, backup oh, singer. Oh, so the girl I was always like trying to flirt with that one time. Uh, I think so. I think so. She says to you, "Hello, little one. Uh, I am no danger to you. Uh, however, I can easily defend myself if need be. But that's obviously not why I'm here." Issa, you have no need to defend yourself from me. <laughs> what is your name? Just uh, I've I've obviously met you several times, but I don't think we formally introduced ourselves. My name is Baca. Oh, hello, Baca. Um, if I might, you've piqued my interest greatly over the few times that we've seen each other. Um, may I ask you what your profession might be? Well, <laughs> I'm I dabble here and there, but mainly it's. Music and thievery. Music and thievery. I thought so. I thought so. Um, you see, I think it's destiny that you and I are to meet. Uh, and I think that we've met each other for a reason. But let me not get ahead of ourselves. Let's, let's take things slow. Um, perhaps you and your friends could do something for me, and I'm sure that you could convince them. Um, I would be willing to trade anything you would like in exchange. Would you be interested? Anything. Well, anything. Um, what do you? What do you? Baka, you fool! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what? What would you desire? Uh, what would you desire? I'm oh, come sure. on, Baka! Come I'm- on! They didn't let him do it. Come on, they oh, didn't. You're I'm not there. there. You're not so, there. Come on. I know. I know. Hmm. I don't know. You're you're very tempting. She but... touches. She touches the side of your face. 
runs her hand or, uh, at the top of her knuckle underneath your chin in a very seductive fashion. It smiles at you. She's, she's making it. Some, she's, she's making it pretty obvious. Me, is she? Make a perception check. Get some. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's 20, 30, 20. No, she is not. Okay. Well, let me get let me get down to business if if we can't speak clearly enough. Uh, what you, what you, there is there is a necklace rumored to have the most beautiful gems in all. Oh of the man, world. now she's on the necklace. You lost it, Bob. Hold on, Chris. I must have Chris. it. Chris, he's yes. getting his notes. He's my, getting my, his no, notes. No, my my headset <laughs> unplugged when you said that. I accidentally pulled it at my chair. Oh, you got excited and pulled the thing out of his chair. All right, <laughs> give him a minute. Give me a minute. He needs. To, uh, he needs to situate himself. <laughs> Sorry. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I was readjusting it. There's a particular necklace <laughs> we need to have. The most beautiful gems in all the world. I must have it. It's called the Nornfire Necklace. It sits in a safe deposit box inside the gold exchange in the floating city of Kirillith to the north. Steal it for me. For the Norn fire, I'll trade you whatever you desire. Why do you need this necklace? No. Well, don't you think that someone as beautiful as myself should have the most beautiful necklace that's ever been created? Baby, you don't need jewelry to make you more beautiful. So is that a persuasion check or a deception check? You telling the truth or you lying? I'm being truthful. <laughs> All right, make a persuasion check. Oh yeah, persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, it's twenty. I think it's. I have a plus two. I can't find my sheet. Uh, yeah, twenty one. Okay, twenty one. With a, with a twenty one, she she looks at you and she smiles. She bats her eyes a little bit. She says, "You're such a charmer, aren't you?" Well, let's just say that. There's something more to the Nornfire necklace than just beauty. Um, it may also be a key to my freedom, shall we say. Uh, but I'm, I would rather not speak more about it at this moment. But I would like to talk about what you would like to exchange for the necklace. She smiles at you. 